What's up, my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So as usual, my people, I have some things I'm going to share with you guys. And subscribe to the channel again, people, and like this, right? Click the thumbs up. If you're up on a phone and you see the option for thumbs up this, click upon the X with up on your right hand side and you're going to get the option for like this, right? So yesterday, we briefly talked about medic and the ongoing investigation and the police them say it's like them reach a roadblock. You know what I mean? So let me just read the article here to you guys, right? We cannot forget about medic, Sina Cap said, but lawmen have no new leads. While the police had no available updates to give on missing dancehall artist medic, Superintendent of Police Sharika Service is assuring the public that the case is still a priority. Medic, whose given name is Stephanie Williams, has been missing since Thursday, August 24, after she reportedly left home that afternoon, speaking with our news team, Service, who is head of the St. Anjanard Police, explained that lawmen are still on the case. We don't have any official updates to give right now since the last time. It has been a difficult one for everyone involved, but we are still getting as much information as we can, service said. She said that the police are also appealing to anyone in the public space with information, noting that it would be greatly appreciated. We are still doing all we can. We have not forgotten about her. We cannot forget about her. So we will continue to do all we can to locate her, she said. Williams' disappearance has caused sadness for many Jamaicans in the public and online space, but none more so than the entertainer's mother, Millicent McCurdy. In a tear-filled interview with our news team, McCurdy said that she knew something was amiss when she reportedly tried to call her daughter but was unable to get through. She sleeps with her phone. She wakes up with her phone. She does everything with her phone. It's very worrying and distressing. We have been trying to contact her friends to see if anyone has heard from her, the grief-stricken mother said. Williams family is offering a $1 million reward for information that can assist the investigation into her disappearance. Jaja. So people, if you have any information, you know the number them where you can call. And I just yesterday me see a video with a X6 I leave our apartment complex. And people are say, yo, this is a lead. But you know look like say boy that can help none at all because the camera they far away from it. You can zoom in still no, but some camera system when you zoom in the image get more blurry you see me i say so why people just send up a prayer for medic and her family especially her mother you see it and if she's alive right now hopefully she can safely return to her family you see it so we are gonna move along people i may see the article here from yesterday about this rasta man who got k-i-l-l in a England, them say him get juke up and him drop out and the police them theorize it as a hate crime. And people, right now in the world, as modern as time is right now and as woke as a lot of people is right now and people are get you know what I mean, certain rights are pushed forward. You will still get hurt or even unalive for the color of your skin if you go certain places in the world, even in America, even in England. See? So this is a sad one, people, because you can't don't like a person because of the color of them skin. After him can't change that, I owe them ban. You understand me? So UK man of Jamaican descent, K-I-L-L, in alleged race, eight, crime 
R.I.P. A 60 a 61 year old man of Jamaican descent who was K.I.L.L. in St. Paul area of Bristol, England last week has been described by his family as kind-hearted and harmless. Herbert Brown from Easton, D.I.E.D. from a STAB wound he suffered during an incident in Grasvenor Road which the police are probing as a race, H-A-T-E, crime. He was affectionately called Isaac. 36-year-old Christina Owell, also of Easton, has been charged with his M-U-R-D-E-R. She's been remanded into custody and a plea and trial preparation hearing was fixed for October 30, according to Bristol Post. On September 29, about 3.19 p.m., the police received a report that a man had been STAB and that a woman was being detained at the scene by members of the public. The man, later identified as Brown, went to the hospital where he died. On Monday, Brown's family, in a tribute, said they are heartbroken. He was a kind-hearted, harmless individual. It is truly devastating that his LIFE ended in such a tragic manner, the family said in the tribute shared by the police. Accepting that he is no longer with us is incredibly challenging, and we are struggling to comprehend and come to terms with the circumstances surrounding his passing. Herbert was a beloved member of our community and we want to express our heartfelt gratitude to those who went above and beyond to help him during that time, as well as the police for their ongoing investigation, it added. The family also said they are supporting one another through the trying period and finding solace in each other's presence and shared memories. Avan and Summerest police said the family continues to be supported by a special trained liaison officer. Neighborhood Chief Inspector Deepak Kent said, Our thoughts are very much with the family and friends of the deceased, who was a family and popular figure to my people in St. Paul's. We remain very grateful to the community for their prompt action to help the injured man and support for our investigation immediately after this tragedy. You will still see an increased police presence in the area as our inquiries continue. Kent is quoted in a statement from the police. I just want to say RIP to this man and condolences to his family. We just hope them get the justice where them deserve and them lack with this woman for a long period of time till everybody forget about she. You know what I mean? Because we live in a 2023. Bob Marley done say already one love. So it no matter your skin color or where you're from, we have to love each other. You understand? So people, let me know what you guys think. So we are going to move, go over to the parish of St. Elizabeth, seeing where the knockings go on, and the man with them says a JPS contractor drop out. Right now, the female were involved in the love triangle. The police, them have her as a person of interest right now, and say she fit, um turning herself to the police immediately. You see me, I say? St. Elizabeth teacher listed as person of interest in DEATH of man. St. Elizabeth teacher Patrice Fagan, otherwise called Nardia, has been named as a person of interest as the police probed the DEATH of a man in Burnt Ground, Santa Cruz, on Sunday. Fagan, who is of Burnt Ground address, is being asked to report to the Black River Criminal Investigation Branch immediately. Investigators are probing the DEATH of Orlando Blake of Old District details of the incident were not provided. The police say several efforts to communicate with Fagan subsequently, um, subsequent to the incident have proven futile. Anyone knowing her whereabouts is being asked to make contact with the Black River CIB 
at 876-965-2026, police emergency 119 number, or the nearest police station. So people, the police them want this woman here for questioning. Because it look like, say, the man called them lock up for your man where she did give the man bun with you know. Him that jail right now, you know. See? So it look like him might give them some statement. And them want she, you know, to know if the statement are true or false. Because them say, dead man not tell no tales, you know. See? So if them two, you yeah, you know what I mean, come together and decide, say, them want to sink him, them can't do it because of them are the only witness. You see what I say? So the police want her. So she figure go present herself to the police right now. She go face whatever consequences. You understand me? So we are going to move on, people. And Digicel right now, like them appear half of the youth, them will help the school youth will get beat up at the BB Cook High School. They will help them with them tuition. See? So Digicel gives tuition assistance to BB Cook I Hero Boys. In joining Jamaica's celebration of the selfless act of bravery and kindness by five students of the B.B. Cook High School in St. Elizabeth, Digicel on Tuesday invite the boys to its corporate office for a special honor. The group dubbed Ambassadors for Good by Prime Minister Andrew Olness comprised Dujan Garden, Gary Bartley, Curry Green, Dujan Powell, and Leon Barnes. They gain nationwide recognition after their selfless act of carrying injured schoolmate Jaim Coleman to hospital on foot shortly after a vicious attack by another student was captured on video. It feels really good to be honored, especially because we were all just looking out for our friend. Thank you so much, said Leon a ninth grader whose quick action rallied his friends to assist Jaim with getting urgent medical attention. For their unselfish deeds, Digicel committed to providing tuition assistance to support the boys in managing their academic expenses. Additionally, the young heroes were presented with Samsung tablets with youth plan SIM cards with one year free data and cars, bookstore vouchers, phone credit, and cricket memorabilia bearing the signatures of West Indies greats. Digicel also committed similar support for Jaim, who is still recuperating in hospital. Chief Executive Officer for Digicel Stephen Morad further extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to the boys by taking them on a tour of the company iconic headquarters in downtown Kingston. You know what I mean? Them youth have to get big up for real. And I saw more than like corporate Jamaica to step forward when them see things like this happen to kind of push the youth them in a good light and make the world know say boy or make Jamaica know say yo and a beer cruff and dunk said that school and selfish bad boy. You know what I mean? You have good, manageable, and caring youth. Same way. So bless up to them youth, yeah. You know what I mean? And speedy recovery to Jaim. See? So we are going to move on, people. Chef charged with stealing lumber in Kingston. And people, me here say the chef thief the lumber for build back in cook shop. What was initially a routine task? of transporting restaurant appliance turned into a legal ordeal for a truck driver and a chef. Wayne White and Francisco Brewster found themselves charged with simple larceny and appeared before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday. The Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court was informed that Brewster had hired White to transport his restaurant appliance from the building where he operated his restaurant this move was prompt by the building owner requesting for Brewster to seize his business operation there. When the items were securely placed in the truck, Brewster reportedly took up several pieces of lumber from a neighbor's property valued at $80,000 where construction work was underway. However, the suspicious behavior 
of the men caught the attention of a resident who promptly alerted the police. Law enforcement officers arrived at the scene and arrested both White and Brewster. Brewster faced charges related to the lumber he had taken while White was charged with the supposed theft of a stove. Initially, it was believed that the stove belonged to the owner of the lumber. However, it was later confirmed that White Samsung 4 burner gas stove actually belonged to Brewster who provided the police with a receipt as proof of ownership. As such, the Crown dropped the charge against White. Additionally, presiding Judge Carlo Mason made an order for White's truck to be released from evidence. Consequently, the charge against White were dropped. Judge Carlo Mason also ordered the release of White's truck from the evidence. Thank you, Your Honor, I relieve White said before leaving. During the proceeding, Judge Mason questioned Brewster about the reason behind taking the lumber. Brewster explained that he had taken the materials to build his own shop and admit to taking only some of them. The judge reprimanded Brewster for involving White in the matter. Brewster was instructed to return to the court on November 7. So listen to be learned, wanna belongs to you, leave it alone. So we are gonna move on, people, to Slickiana M U R D E R accused, seeing them denying bail again. I may not think this man I go get bail none at all. Him just I go left from jail and go prison. You see me I say Slickiana M U R D E R accused again deny bail. Roshan Pattison, who is accused of the MURDER of 35-year-old social media influencer Anika Slikiana Tozan, was again denied bail in the St. James Circuit Court today. Pattison, who was previously denied bail in March, was remanded by presiding High Court Judge Justice Judith Pusey, despite efforts by his lawyer, Dione Mella Barrett, to get him released. In her bail application, Mella Barrett argued that Pattison, who was before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on an unrelated assault charge from 2018, was discharged in that matter on May 18 this year following a no-evidence motion. However, the prosecution strongly opposed bail for Pattison on the grounds that he was a likely flight risk and could potentially re-offend if offered bail. The court was also told that the post-mortem report and a scene of the crime statement are still outstanding for the prosecution case file. However, a report from the Police Communication Forensic and Cybercrime Division was presented to Myla Barrett by the prosecution. Pusey subsequently said partisan case for mention on December 19, at which time Myla Barrett is expected to make an another Bail application, thousand body was found floating in the sea in Reading, St. James on October 21, 2022. A subsequent post-mortem examination on November 5 determined that she was strangled with the DEATH occurring sometime between 11 p.m. on Thursday, October 20 and 9 a.m. on Friday, October 21. According to police reports, Tozan had travelled from Kingston to Montego Bay on October 20 and was later picked up by Pattison, following which they visited a restaurant in Anova and a guest house in St. James. Sometime during the night, an argument developed between the two, following which Tozan was strangled and her body disposed of. On November 2, Pattison was arrested for following an high-level police operation and was formally charged with thousands M-U-R-D-E-R on November 11. But them have a heart a big for Bailey, man, when this a boy takes so long for turning in himself. Remember, you know, him did that one guess house and all long them tell him for turning in himself and him not turning in himself. Him no know say that I go make it hard for him when him want bail. Although him not forget no bail. You see me, I say, just straight from jail to prison. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
I mean, we'll see a lot of you guys know by now of the quadruple knockings and clappings in a Clarendon, upper one place called Summerfield, right? So, I'm going to update on the story and I'm going to put the pictures of the man them who lose them three points. Three of them pictures I have. So, I say, so I'm going to put them up. The one we are got in the black vest and the pink shirt are him and the father of um a twin right father of twin boys among four k i l l in clarendon the victims in this morning quadruple m u r d e r in summerfield clarendon have been identified among them is varel ari manning whose 12 year old twins walk despondently along the crime scene unaware of the tragedy that befell their father. The other victims are Manning cousin, Theo Manning, 44 year old Kish Brown, a shop operator of Line Road, and a man known only as Rastar Tompa. Residents say the men were at a karaoke event at the Genesis Lounge and Grill Complex when tragedy unfolded. Reports are that about 1.15 a.m. residents reportedly heard explosions and summoned the police. On arrival of the lawmen, two of the men were seen lying outside a cook shop with G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds and the other two found inside the shop also G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds. The men were taken to hospital where they were pronounced. Investigators say more than 30 spent casing had so far been retrieved from the scene. Meanwhile, Acting Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of Area 3, Glenford Miller, is urging venue owners and operators to desist from operating beyond regulated hours. Once it is cut off time for your establishment to close, close your establishment, abide by the law. To the persons that keep parties, when it is the cut off time for the parties, shut down the parties, charge Miller. The police are asking anyone with information to make an anonymous report to Crime Stop. Up to September 30, Clarendon had seen an 18.6% increase in MURDERS, having recorded 83 homicides compared to 70 KILLINGS over the 2022 corresponding period. So, I really that. The acting commissioner of Area 3 go say, I tell the people them for cut off party when I cut off time before him say, boy, you know what I mean? If we don't have no information, make we solve this fast. Ray, 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 talk some things we make the people them shake up. You know what I mean? I make whoever do it shake up. A party the man come talk about. Whether that party did have a cut off time or not. You know what I mean? This can go on any time. You understand? So that's another statement where the people them want to hear. People don't want to hear that way I say. They want to hear how we can solve this and how we can deter them person yeah, we are do them thing. Yeah. And people, them say a one person, them did want out of the four man them, you know. You see me, but I just wrong place at the wrong time. You understand? I mean I like them type of things there. If you come for one person, deal with that one person there. Left the other is a person them when you involve none at all in a whatever you have against that person there. That not right. And as so you see, certain things can't stop. You know what I mean? Because if you go there, you in a problem with one person. Nobody involve the rest of the person them man. You know star. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So we are going to move on to the next people. And the man you see on the screen right now, it's alleged he's a taxi driver. See? And them can him up and him drop out. See? I don't see no official release yet. Forget no more information. But the information we may have is that them call him Tita Pull. You see what I say? And him run from three miles, go halfway three. You see it? So... The motive for what happened, I don't know that. You know what I mean? So as soon as there's an update, I'm going to share it with you guys. So people, like and subscribe. And remember, click the top bell icon after you subscribe so you can get notified 
when anything new is on the channel.